Even as we speak, the moon is racing toward the shadow of the Earth. And when it is totally engulfed by that shadow Thursday night, we'll be treated to an unusual sight in the nighttime sky, a total lunar eclipse. Ah, if only the weather cooperates. Kevin Coe's got the details. Eclipses are spectacular. I mean, the the moon kind of slowly slides into the shadow of the Earth and turns red, this blood red color. On Thursday night, the Earth will be directly between the sun and moon. It's pretty dramatic, I think. You know, the moon kind of di almost disappears from the sky, but it doesn't. It becomes this blood red color. Ron Hipschman has seen more than a few. The scientist joined the Exploratorium in 1971 and create science content for the museum in San Francisco. He took us through NASA's Scientific Visualization Studio to map out Thursday's eclipse for the Bay Area. It's like it couldn't be much better for yeah. us. Well, maybe not everybody wants it at midnight. I would just go for the umbral shadow, which starts at about 1126. The center of the eclipse is a minute before midnight, which might be late for some, but will be more accessible than other celestial events. You want to see a meteor shower, you've got to find some dark spot with the right view of the sky. If you want a solar eclipse, you've got to go to the right place, part of the world. But with a lunar eclipse, if, if it's visible in your area, as long as you have a clear sky and a view, you can, can enjoy it. Ryan Wyatt is the senior director of the Morrison Planetarium at the California Academy of Sciences. Whenever you look up at the sky, you have this connection to something that's bigger than yourself. And with an eclipse, like you can start to think of yourself like, oh, I'm on this planet that's orbiting the sun. And just coincidentally, you know, twice a year, we line up just right with the, with the moon. The whole idea of this cosmic dance that's constantly going on. Unlike a solar eclipse, no protective eyewear is necessary. As long as you can see the moon, you can catch Thursday's lunar eclipse anywhere in the Bay Area.